Hello guys, welcome to how to slice the video. In today's video, we are going to slice this amazing shark from Gabriel Soares, a collab with STL Flix. Really awesome model, really nice to have your shelf. Okay, let's go and see how to do this. It's a really nice model, but has lots of parts to print. So we are going to separate that in build plates and then show you how to do that, okay? First tip for you guys, it's a range model. When you bring all the files here, it show up in Prusa Slicer. Just to let you know, guys, we are using the Prusa Slicer 2.8. It is the latest version of Prusa Slicer, okay? And we are slicing here for ND3 V3 SE. Let's go and see how to do this. After you bring your files, you might see a scene like this. Everything messed up. We can arrange that automatically, clicking here or just clicking an A on the keyboard, okay? And we'll be like this. It's not the way I want to print. We can separate that and build plates. Like we are going to the main parts of the shark, the heads, the tail, the arms, okay, will be the same build plate. The pins here will be in a separated build plate. Nice. And I guess I, we can print the legs after we print this build plate, okay? We are printing for monocolor printers, so after I teach you how to do this, I teach you how to paint that properly, okay? For these parts, I want only the two arms of the shark, the tail, the head, and the main body, okay? Let's go and see what we have here. We have this little part here that might need some support, and we can add that, and we can add here, selecting the, the file, paint supports option, and we can paint here and we activate for support and forces only okay this part we can click ask to come out of this selection bottom of painting process and for this model we are slicing with 0.2 millimeters high it's not so detailed so we can print that without losing any parts of the model and for the infill we are going to use diorite and 10 percent okay skirt and brim I will not go with skirt and bring this time. Let's slice and see if there is any part that gonna need support also, okay? As you can see here, you don't have a huge overhang. It's in the right angle to print that without any support. We have here a huge overhang in the shark mouth and it doesn't need supports, okay? Because it is inside of the shark and I guess will not be a problem in printing this model. But here I would go, here I would add some support let's add here i didn't saw that part same thing select the model after you can click in paint on supports this button here and just paint the parts that you want to add supports okay and for the configurations of supports we are going to use not grids let's go with organic models 0 0.2 top contact z distance okay and for interface spacing per turn, we can go with zero millimeters. As you can see here in the top Z contact, we will have no spacing in the interface parts. This green, dark green here, we have the light green, that is the bar of the support, okay? We have here an interface in dark green, and as you can see here, we don't have any spacing between the lines, okay? And, okay, for this overhang here, there's no need for supports and for the others also I guess that's good to go uh, it's gonna take here on it and the 3v3 SE it's gonna take seven hours to print that parts it is the main part of this model and let's go to the other parts okay uh, and you have a really nice tip for you in this model you can add magnets here in the shoes of the model in the base also and snap together the both parts and it's really nice to take off and snap together and it's satisfying okay it's a really nice tip for you after you print that let's see how the legs here behave after you slice and if any highlights for us there is any highlights for us i guess there is no highlights for us you can actually print with the same configurations of the rest of the model okay if you want to add some weight in the legs 
you can add more info and more let's see how how grams it is using 52 grams of material let's add another wall here another wall and let's add more info and see how it's gonna be more 20 grams of material you can decrease that to that two walls and 10 percent and just two walls I would go with two walls it's just nice yeah I, I would go with 10 percent and just two walls for the legs it's just fine it is really nice to see that and let's go to the base that's the part that we are going to save some material and some time I guess I hope so because we don't need to have that part so have are so detailed so you can go here 0.28 millimeters high of the layer this is a really nice tip for you guys and i'm always saying how to slice a video after you change the layer high you don't change the first layer high you configure your printer for this layer high stick with this to the end okay 0.2 if you calibrate for this first layer high will not affect the quality of your printing but will affect the first layer quality so we will be better not to change this first layer high okay guys and let's go to the base 0 0.8 in few we can go with 10 percent that's my tip just increase the layer high because you don't need details here so we will be just fine to print with 0 0.28 and we will save some time not so much time because it's not a bigger part but it will be nice here okay used filaments 30 grams and one hour to print that as you can see here okay it's really easy to go don't have any secrets to print that and let's go with these and these and these the pins okay of the model you need to put everything together to snap everything together for these ones I would print as it is but we'll go with 0 0.2 millimeters high no skirt or brim no skirt but no brim okay and support material only for enforced party parts let's slice and see quick and easy 28 minutes to print the pins just easy as you would think of printing this part okay it's just prints as in standards and let's go with the blades katanas and the detail of the model okay let's go and see for this katana i would go with a brain because it's a really sharp and long and thin part of your of your model so i would go with some brain here in this model outer brain inner brain only outer brain and let's go with five millimeters okay adding we are adding brain here for these small parts thin and longs we can decrease the layer height to not have so marked surface up here let's decrease to 0. 12 or 0 0.16 let's see how how it does same thing almost it's just fine just fine I guess let's see if 0 0.12 we gen if do change something in our printing settings I would prefer here like this I prefer like this 0 0.12 okay millimeters of layer high and again do not change the first layer okay keep with the 0 0.2 that's it the blades are already printed we just sliced this file for monocolor printers which means one color only let's paint that in bamboo studio for bamboo printers okay let's open it's just right here <laughs> as you can see here the same problem as we have in Prusa slicer we just need to arrange that it's really similar to Prusa slicer okay and now the files are separated into parts like the body here let's torso the torso here we have three colors torso one torso two torso 
torso three. Sorry, my accent, guys. <laughs> and let's change the colors here. I don't like that. That color, let's go with a blue or a gray, a gray. Oh, gray, it's nice. Reds, no, not reds. Let's go with a green, green and blue for our samurai shark. Nah, let's go with sand colors. Oh, better, better. I like this kind of brown color for printing. Oh, that's good. That's good. I like it. I like it really much. Okay. And let's paint the torso and you get the, the way of painting the, this model, okay? For torso, here we have three colors. The main body and the sharky color. The shark color, that is the body of the shark, okay? You paint, stick with the same color for like this part, the, the head here, this part of the hand here also will be the same color, the tail, okay? Just to make sense in the construction of your file, okay? Of your 3D print, okay? So for the body of our shark let's go for light gray light gray would be nice light gray for the body of your our shark the head here object one head black oh have oh have colors here let's go for white oh it's nice to have white now let's paint the head here with the light gray and it, oh Okay, for painting the model, you can click here twice and, and open a menu and it will open color one, two or three or four. You can select them, press enter, we will paint the model or you can just press the keyboard, the number that you want, like number one, click, select the model that you want to be in number, in number one color and press number one, press number one or press number three, two, as it is okay guys and for the head let's go with this part and this part let's go with dark gray here oh better not so much better but just fine <laughs> it's okay it's okay i like it i like it let's go for the forearms as you can see here how to find the objects in your build plate by default you will find these configurations in your slicer okay this is the basic one, the standard or in the full, okay? I select, I, I like to use the advanced mode, okay? More options to, for us to change. And how to see the parts of your model. You can go here in objects and you find all the objects separated by build plates, okay? As you can see here, outside of the build plate is the dark, the shark hat, okay? In uh, everything else we have the shark body and forearms and this stuff okay let's go painting the forearm let's go okay no this is the light gray this is the gray oh nice oh i'm gonna print that for sure <laughs> i love this, com this combination of colors that's my samurai for let's go for the others Forearm, forearm, okay. Oh, okay. And I'm painting, pressing the keyboard, okay, just to let you know if you're, oh, how is doing this? Pressing the keyboard, selecting the objects here, and pressing the keyboard. The tail will be this color in here. Let's go. Other color. White, black. You can be creative and change the colors as it is right now oh my god i love this combination okay and for the parameters of slicing it will be the same thing as in Prusa slicer okay guys you can adapt for any printer that you are using but the main part here to paint the model is this select the part that you want to paint go in objects and change the part the separate parts that you want to paint okay it's a really nice model. It's a shark samurai. Everybody loves samurai. Everybody loves sharks. So 
that's it guys hope you enjoyed this video see you in the next video bye bye i hope you guys enjoy it those slicing videos are an initiative from stl academy which is the educational project from stlflix so if you guys want to learn more about 3d printing you could check our description and look at stl academy courses and don't forget see you guys at the next slicing